Hi ho, hi ho, off to work we go. <laughs> Here he is folks, Santa's sack. Why has he brought me? Stay tuned to find out. Hi everyone, welcome to Peter Ray's Adventures. Welcome to the latest video. I have a haul for you, a big bag Oh, this is clothing by the way, a 10 kilogram bag. It's the eBay reseller bundle. And I got this online from a wholesaler called Vault Vintage. As you might know, Vault Vintage, I'll link their website in the description below and the comments as well. So you can check their bundles out what they've got. They've got different types of bundles on their um, website. Also, I'd like to thank Andrew Nolan, Monumental UK, for recommending me to Bolt Vintage. I'll put his link below to his YouTube channel as well. Do excuse me, the bag's heavy. Woo! Tired out, folks. So, it cost me £150. It cost me, just me, £150 plus £10 for shipping postage, which I was happy with. And what we'll do, we'll get into the um, items what I've got, because it's a mystery, no idea what I've got. They'll be here, completely sold to come up with sold some of the items, as much as I can find. And uh, so yeah, let's get into it folks. Enjoy. So what have we got? Wow. The first one is a jacket of some sort. Nice little jacket there. It's by... Rudded Outdoor Wear Carhartt. I've sold Carhartt before. Nice little jacket. Should do for around 15, possibly 20 pounds. Obviously all these will get washed, obviously. So once I've done that and then obviously steamed and ironed all that if they can. Not too bad though. Um, probably say around 15 to 20 pounds on that. But I'll confirm that as you can see when it comes across here on the video. Carhartt. And then this one here is a, it's got a zip, one, it might be a cycling thing. So it's a large, a Patagonia regulator. Patagonia regular, it's a large, it's one of those, well, Cycling tops, I think it's cycling top from Riley. My clothing knowledge is a bit No, that's why I want to learn more. The Patagonia, probably around again 15 to 20, but I'll have a look online with that one. Patagonia. Oh we've got a, a jumper. Nice little jumper. Hooded jumper. Um have a look there. A nice Adidas hooded jumper. They're going lovely, Adidas. All go on eBay, folks. So, so have a look, see if I can find out. UK, um, extra large, apparently. That's extra large. An Adidas one. Adidas. As you can tell by the stripes down there. Probably say around 15 to 20 on the Adidas. Might even be more. But I know Adidas quite well, as most people do. Do let me know in the comments below what you liked about this haul. I haven't got the prices wrong, even though they're going to come up across here. Have sold these before? So nice little Adidas jumper there. I'll do it when I go on the video. I'll work it out and put it on there how much roughly I'm going to get on one of the sides, as you can see. Obviously, got minus fees and stuff, etc. And postage. What have we got here? Oh, a lovely mystery. Um, athletic, is it? So it's a baseball one. I've never heard of a guy before. Um, obviously, these, it's an American thing, but obviously an American brand don't necessarily sell well in America. TJADA, must have a, have a look at that. Um, so what we got, it's an extra large, majestic, genuine merchandise. A few Americans out there. Label up. There we go. 
So with this Athletics um, baseball, Authentic baseball jersey, I haven't found the exact one, but um, if, if I ever do when I edit this, then you can see it. Round about, I think others are going around for £25 plus on this one. So happy with that, that's quite good. Obviously, as I say, American stuff doesn't sell well in America. British dust doesn't sell well here sometimes. But you've got to try these things. There's, there's quite a few items here. I have to have a toast them up at the end, how many items I've got. A, a jumper. Zipped jumper. By Polo Jeans Company. Large. Ralph Lauren. Oh, lovely. A Ralph Lauren one. I've sold... Ralph Lauren before. Nice little decent one. Um, probably, I would say, right, second, upwards of around about 20 plus, 20, 25 plus. Might be more on this one. Nice little jumper. That's cool, Ralph Lauren. Happy with that. Around about 20, 25, roughly above. No, the next one is quite a few in here, actually, can't think of it. For the price it is, um, the North Face, yeah. The North Face, that's simple, easy seller. I think it's smaller size, by the way. Possibly a small, I think it's one, might be a small. Because up against me, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's, it, it's a small folks. A small North Face. I say around £15, if there's a larger size is, £25 plus, but £15 on North Face. Looks like more American um, jerseys. 94. Um, Warren. I'm not sure who Warren is, but I'll have to look him up anyway as I do the video. Warren um, Reebok on the side. Reebok. Um, I know that's Reebok. Pretty hundred percent sure it's Reebok. Um, it's a yeah Reebok two XL. So that'll go round me twice. No offence, people. <laughs> um, let's have a look. NFL National Football League Reebok authentic team replica. It's a replica shirt, but it's an authentic replica shirt for the um, NFL. So yeah, that probably should be around 20, 25, um, something like that. Let's have a quick look, see if I can find that one. Doesn't look like I can find these, but uh, probably around 20 pound plus for this, which is okay. Got Warren, let me know um, who Warren is. I'll do a bit of research, but if I can't find it, let me know who Warren is. One of the people, if he's a good player or where number 94. More American. NFL. That's football league. 84. Now, who's this geezer? I'm not even going to pronounce that, to be honest. I don't want to be... Yeah. If you can pronounce that. Number 84. Um, it's authentic Reebok medium. So, down here... Reebok Medium, NFL, National Football League. A bit like rugby, but they wear all the gear. They wear all the gear. So again, I reckon around about £20 plus uh, for this one. I won't type in um, eBay right now, because the name takes forever to write. But yeah, around about £20 medium plus 48 There we go, another lovely one. I've not sold too many American football shirts or hockey or whatever else, as you can see. We go about halfway down, folks. Link screwed, link, link for this video. What have we got here? As I say, it's a, it's a blind run. Never opened before. Hillfinger. So, Tommy Hillfinger. Hillfinger. NYC, USA. Kids size, I think. Um, jumper with hood. Medium. Tommy Hillfinger sleepwear. Ah, sleepwear. Okay, fair enough. I understand that. I reckon around £15 mark. Something like that. Tom Hill figure sleepwear, roughly, but 
Um, Fifteen pound mark, something like that. It might be more because it can be quite desirable. He, Tommy Hilfiger, uh, Hilfinger. But as they say, American brands don't often sell well in the UK. Vice versa in America. Same with British brands. Vice versa. But we, we to see. Not bad. Not bad. Hilfiger. Gant. Nice little Gant. Jumper. Gant jumper, right, what size are we, Gant? A medium size for Gant. I've heard of Gant, never sold it before, but it looks pretty good. Not like a little v-neck, if you like it over, over, over a v-neck, then Gant is your man, Gant. So, on inspection, around about £34 for this Gant jumper. Really good, happy with that one, Gant jumper. £34. I'll put the um, complete and sold in the video as well. Do excuse if it's moving slightly at certain clips because I had to change the batteries on the camera. They're running low. Forgot to charge them, folks. But let me know, say, what you like about this, dislike in the comments below, etc. What brands have you sold of these before? We're nearly there, around about a quarter left of this bag. Diesel industry denim jeans. Simple, really. These all, um, these ones have got the horrible um, button up. I like zip fly much better. But they still sell around about 30 to 40 possibly. These all, I think the last pair, pair I sold was about 30 or 25. But it all depends on the quality and where it is. They're made in Italy, size 36. So when you look at... Um, clothing look at the size sometimes or most of the time bigger the better sizing so especially in um, trousers size 36 I'm not sure about the leg but I'll, I'll measure the leg once I come to do it measure it and the size as well so size 36 I'm a size 30 by the way um, a size 30 and a 32 leg I've got a long leg folks I can get it up there uh, uh, yeah, a long leg, uh, <laughs> and a size 30 waist, so don't forget, when you buy clothing, especially um, trousers, buy the bigger sizes and the smaller sizes, because people are not one size, not bad. and the cuffs here are not frayed either, so they're very good um, on the cuffs. What have we got here? Oh, oh, got a nice little jacket, a stylistic jacket. Cashmere wool, finest quality jacket. As I look, what brand are we going with the jacket? Hugo Boss. Oh, you legend, mate. Hugo Boss. And this is no way, have I told him to do this, by the way? No way I've told him to do this. Get Hugo Boss in there. No way, Jose. Basically, I've um, like brought it off, they picked it out, it's a mystery to me, and it really is. Nice little pocket design. I'll give it a sniff test in a minute. Do excuse the Hell on Earth jumper, my favourites. Not bad, not bad. Obviously it'll be, be cleaned and stuff and then I can get it done. What do you think? Hugo Boss. The one and only Hugo Boss. <laughs> one and only. A nice little pocket design inside. Pocket air. Yeah, it's really good. Nice green colour. Uh, what we got? Yeah. So, I'm not sure on the sizing for that one officially. Oh, it's a little, nice little d design pocket down here. And a pocket up here, a, a, a big one. Oh, I found a big one. All right, what we got? Can iron this one? Only iron it. I forgot to check as well. Check out the labels. Let's see if you can iron it or not, or this or the other. Blue moon. And probably a large. Oh, there we go. 34. Um, probably a large, folks. Oh, no, I'm so happy with that. Oh, here you go, boss. Fen, right. We're getting getting it slowly 
What we got here? A nice little Wrangler. Wranglers usually around about 20 quid, 25. Possibly more if you get a good brand. Good, um, not brand, a good one for Wrangler. Um, let's have a look at the made in Arizona. Um, trying to see what size it is. I can't. Oh, 33 waist and 32 leg. So it'd be good on my leg, but not my waist. But I don't wear Wranglers. And it's got a zip flyer. And a button for the zip flyer. So around about, I would say, 20 plus on the Wranglers. But depends on the condition and the cuffs and that one. And what I said in the previous one with the Hugo Boss, I should have given a sniff test. <sighs> As people do, sniff it. Weird, I know, folks, but still, you got to get it done. Not bad, on that one. So far, I'm quite happy. Get another pile going here. Multicoloured um, shirt. Carmel Active, 3XL. Okay, I have no idea what is this worth, to be honest. Probably around about 10, 15 pounds. Let's have a quick look at the um, what it is. So for this um, shirt, should we have to get around about 20 pounds for this um, Carmel or Camel, I should say, C C A M E L active shirt. Not bad, not bad. Weird colours though. And, and another blazer, because Hugo Boss was a blazer as well. But this one is a oh, made in Italy, an unbranded blazer, but they still go pretty well. Oh no, no, there's a brand in it. Yeah, don't have to. <laughs> Try and have a look. Dolce and Cabana. Dolce and Cabana, if you can see that. Don't, don't know if you can, but it says Dolce and Cabana in this um, one. Not, not too bad, actually. Dolce and Cabana. That's worth a lot of money. I don't know about now. It's a. It looks like it's a, a large, but the sleeves are quite short. Short sleeves. So. A pocket in there. Good pocket, oh, 48 pocket there, you can see, another one, there's another one, nope, pockets here, that's a pocket, they're good to wear to a wedding or a, fu or a funeral, if you're going through, and the Hugo Boss one, this one here, is for your, um, people that like to go shooting, and yeah, it's not no bad, Gulch and Cabana, or Cabana, I pronounce it, very good, very good, happy with that. Enjoying that one. The Pringle set. The Pringle set. It, it means people who are posher and they go around with posh, posher clothing. Not posh people who think they're posh, from like Essex or whatever. Or, but people who, who are quite posh in quite posh areas. Tailored in USA. Imported fabric, dry clean only. Da -da -da -da. Scotland by the yard. I've never heard of Scotland by the yard before. Got, got a pocket there. I look it up in a sec. Hmm. Quite a bit woolen material, as you can see. Not bad, they're not bad. Scotland by the yard. Harris Tweed. Oh, there we go. I've heard of that, mate. I've heard of that. Harris Tweed. So that'll go for some good money. Quite a bit. So I'll do my research um, when I'm editing the video. As, as you see, Probably about now, or now, or now. <laughs> Harris Tweed, 100% pure wool, tailored in USA, Harris Tweed. Now that is a quality item. No way have I known that's in there, to be honest. It's a random hand pick. Harris Tweed, um, tailored jacket. And that's a pocket there. Put it down there. But, problem with that, is it's only um, hand wash only. Jeez, I keep, keep going this stuff. Tommy Hilfinger, vintage fit, medium, 15 to, to, to 20 pounds, bog standard all day long, da 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 da. Simple, really. That one. What have we got here? Well, we have got a shirt. 
a hill ditch and key shirt. Hill ditch and key. Hill ditch and key shirt. Oh, I don't know. Never heard of them. Let's have a look. Probably get around fifteen pounds for this hill ditch and key shirt. Never heard of the brand before, but it's a forty-four centimeter around here. So probably a large by the looks of things. We nearly there. Do which good longevity of the video. Lee jeans. The standard Lee jeans. But all you gotta check is the brand, the size, which is 32 waist, 32 leg, a good size. But don't forget everyone's any size. So pick most sizes up like when you can the bigger size is better really but all sizes because I'm a size 30 waist and 32 leg this is 32 leg 32 waist but they've got the um, button up instead of a zip fly I can't stand button ups myself and you also got to check whether they're straight legged um, skinny very skinny tailored for example these are I think straight legged but have a look at that anyway very good on the cuffs and the seams. I can be cuffs from <laughs> shirt seams on the uh, the day. Yeah, I'm learning my terminology for these. As I say, I've left Vault Vintage's website in the description below and comments below, so you can check that one out and see what you're going to go for because they do different bundles, for example. But this is the 10 kilogram eBay. Um, bundle of 150 pounds plus 10 pounds postage means 160. We've got a Hugo Boss regular fit Prima Cotton shirt. Nice little Hugo Boss. That's in there as well. These can range up for 15 to 30 pounds, but it's a, a large one, a large white, this standard white. So, I reckon about 20, I might be a bit way off, I'm just estimating at the moment, rather than look it up, because it takes forever to look it up. The last one. Yep, all done. Um, Grey, what ones have we got here? Levi's, Strauss and Co. Size, waist 30, leg 32. My size, Levi's, Strauss. So it's got the um, five po pocket design and the zip here, as you can see. So pretty good. Um, the seam down the bottom here, the leg are looking very good. Round about 25, possibly 30 pounds for those. I sold some of these before. Um, end of last year, I think I did sell some, and used to pick them up at a charity shop, lovely to me. Um, but when I went back, it was very expensive, so I didn't bother. But yeah, I used to pick them up there, local charity shop. But it's nice to have some more jeans. They're easy sellers, easy to um, measure, easy to photograph, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I appreciate everything now. That was the haul from Vault Vintage. What I'll do, I'll link there website in the description below and comments below go check their website and see the hauls and bundles they've got check out if you like any of them and you're willing to pay the amount they're offering for that bundle etc 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 and what I'm doing now is go through the likes and dislikes from my experience with Bolt Vintage so the likes is they got my bundle out in 10 days so it's just over seven working days, which is really, really cool. I appreciate that, because they don't work on weekends. I was expecting them to be three, four, five weeks. And you've also got social media. So you've got Instagram, Facebook, and a website. And you can get them on either one of them. should be able to get them on either one of them. Pretty simple to do. Also, also you'll get five items, quality items, over £20 upwards in the bundle you also get a load of bread and butter stuff that's like 15 to 20 pounds but you're guaranteed five items higher price which is really cool and uh, that's what i got as well I was like wow 
then your dislikes, it's the fact that, yes, you can get them on social media, but it may take them a long time to reply, which is very annoying. But just realise they're quite busy with their bundles and doing everything else, because it's a business. Then the bag came smelling like anything. It came in, smelt like, oh, that's horrible smell. Because what they do, they spray it, spray the bag, um, get rid of the bugs and the diseases and the rest, rest of it. It's like, Ugh. Anyway, so it'd be easier if they put it in a box, one of those big heavy duty boxes, um, because it'd be easier to come that way, not with a bag. That's just the way it goes. And then you've got to double check, triple check, and quadruple check your items because you may have moth holes in them or missing buttons etc. Like my um, Harris Tweed blazer, it came, I didn't see it in the video, but my mum saw it afterwards, she's like, you do realise it's got moth holes in it? Moth holes? I was like, no. Oh no, could that be sewn? She double checked it, triple checked it. Like, no, with the way they are and how big they are and this and the other, no, you can't be sewn. I was like, oh, that's got to go, great. And then the Dolce & Cabana jacket had a button missing inside, which I missed, inside the pocket. I was like, great. That can be put on the bath button, but it's still annoying, though, in, in my bum respect. But that's just the way you deal with um, your wholesale, because it's like a blind buy it. You buy it, you don't know what's in, in it, so you get good stuff you might not, you may do. So, yeah, that's my experiences. Let me know in the comments below your experiences with Vault Vintage. And have you experienced any other wholesaler? And let me know about if you liked the haul or disliked it or whatever else. Because it's always appreciated to reply in the comments section. And I will try and reply as well. And read the comments as well. Because I would love to read the comments, what you've got to say. All I need to say is like, share and subscribe. And catch you later. Take care.